one of the things that we don't want to do is to make the um, that payment a barrier to access to care. Already, some in some areas and some people, ten percent is a lot. Um, so uh, we have mechanisms in place at the clinics where they can waive for people who can who can't really afford it. But on the other hand, you also have I I believe I mean from from what I see, a lot of people don't prioritize it. And they have money for buying one belikin or two belikin or coke, or, but they don't have money for pay for for healthcare. So it's a value. It's a it's a process of educating the public and a value system that we have to start getting people to value healthcare and to come. Up, I mean, and, and it's not a lot of money. Sometimes it's not a lot of money. Ten percent for a complete panel of lab tests sometimes may end up being ten dollars, eleven dollars for something that costs you to pay two hundred, three hundred dollars. So it, 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 it's really symbolic, uh, and it gives a value to the to the service that you're getting, uh, but it should never become a barrier to access. So when you do have people who can't afford to come up with that 10%, the clinic is has the ability to waive those things. So we waive for the elderly, we waive for pregnant women, and we waive for children. Everybody else is supposed to pay that 10%, but if you ha have indigent who can't pay, they can waive it. 